y'all to look at this word. Can anybody tell me what that word is? What those words are? Uh, life cycle. Uh -huh. So, um, does anybody know what the definition of a life cycle? Before you um talk to me, do you guys want to discuss with your partner? So, the person that's sitting next to you, can you tell them what you think the definition of a life cycle is? Uh, life so it's like it goes from the egg and then something else and then you have a baby and then you have a baby and then you have a teenager and then you have an adult because it's a life cycle everybody finished? yes sir. okay so um let's see so Jace, can you tell me what did your partner tell you about what a life cycle was? She said like the flow starts off like an egg and mm -hmm. they hatch and they are tadpoles and a frog and mm -hmm. That's a good that's a good example. Uh can anybody else? Kenna, can you tell me what your partner told you? It's it's something that an animal goes through when it's like like from a baby to a grown adult. Okay, good job. Uh Chevy, I do one more Chevy. The stages through the life. The stages through the life. Good job, good job. Okay, so we're gonna go to the. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna talk about it some more. We're gonna go to the first worksheet, the um the life cycle of a frog worksheet. And I want you guys to look at that one first. If you haven't already put your name on it, can you do that? Put your name at the top for me, please. Yeah, yeah, that that works. Yeah. Right, you're, gonna, you're gonna use both of them. Yeah, either, either one. They're both the same. Either one is fine. Okay, once we do that, um, can you guys look at the bottom of the page and tell that there are uh, five different boxes of a different different stages of a frog? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I want you to do right now is I want you to go ahead and cut those out, and I want you to try to put them in order to the best of your knowledge. So whatever, whatever order you think it is from the beginning to the end, I want you to put it in that order. Yeah, exactly. I don't have my scissors. Okay, um, once somebody cuts them out, we're going to trade you. I'm going to get you some scissors. So if you have scissors, go ahead and use them so your partner will pass you to a classmate. I'll get Okay. 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 And once you cut them out and ready to glue, if you raise your hand, I'll pass out some glue sticks. And then once you finish the worksheet, we'll flip it over and that's how I know you're finished. If anyone is done with that scissors, then I'm willing to let a classmate borrow them to the team Sheet, that'll be the first thing that you think happens in the in, this, in the life cycle. Does anybody need glue? Mm -hmm. Once you finish, um, just pass the glue to your partner or to a neighbor. Finish. Who else? Who else needs glue? Once 
Once you're finished, make sure you flip your worksheet over so I know you're finished. y'all working so diligently. I'm going to give you about one more minute to finish this up. Then we're going to move on. I'll I get it to you. We'll, we'll get it back to you. So is everyone finished? So, Jace, can you tell me what you uh, said the definition of a life cycle was when we first started? It's five different stages of your life. Mm -hmm. Okay, so repeat after me the definition of a life cycle. The definition of a life cycle is the stages a living thing goes through during life. <laughs> okay, so I'm giving you that definition. Can you guys think of any life cycles that you've heard of or any life cycles that you know about or have heard of? All right. JD, have you ever heard of a life cycle? Do you know any life cycles? Um, uh, how about you, JD? How about you? I've heard, heard about a butterfly. A butterfly. Hmm. Can you tell me something about that you heard about it? Uh, so at first, they start off as a caterpillar. Mm -hmm. First, they start off as an egg. Then they build a thing called a, a, a cocoon, mm -hmm. and then they, when they come out after like a few, a few months, they turn into a butterfly. Okay, that's good. So 
That was the life cycle of a butterfly. So we know that life cycles have stages, correct? Yes, sir. And things go from the birth to when they die, correct? So in life cycles, we have reproduction, growth, life, and then death. Everything goes through those cycles. But today we're going to talk about in specific is the life cycle of a frog. And before we get into the book, I would like to show you guys this video of a, um, the animated video of a life cycle of a frog. We're going to go through that, then we're going to read through the book, okay? Oh, we are sorry, Mr. Frog. My cat wasn't aware that those are your eggs. Phew. Come out, little kitty. Mr. Frog has gone. Hey, friends, I'm sure, just like this kitty, you must be curious to know more about frogs' eggs and their life. So, let's hop on into the tiny world of these amphibians and learn about the life cycle of a frog. Zoom in! It all starts with a female frog laying hundreds of eggs, generally in a pond that vary in size colors and shapes with different species. These eggs float on the surface of the water, coated with a jelly-like substance that acts as a protective layer. But despite that, most of the eggs get destroyed due to various natural calamities like rain and wind, due to which only a few get fertilized this mass of fertilized egg in the jelly is known as spawn. After a few days, a baby frog known as tadpole hatches out of the egg that looks more like a fish than a frog and feeds on the yolk of the egg from which it came out. Well, that's one hungry fella. As time passes by, Tadpoles develop external gills that help them breathe under the water. Their tails begin to elongate and fins also develop. They spend their time eating plants and algae as they continue to grow for several weeks. After a few weeks, their external gills begin to disappear and hind limbs start to appear. Then, after a few more weeks, the tadpole begins to look somewhat like a frog as it turns into a froglet. And during this stage, they develop forelimbs and lungs for breathing outside water. And on the final stage, their tail becomes smaller and smaller and eventually disappears. Then it hops right out of the water and onto dry land for the first time where it enters the adult stage in the next couple of years to lay their eggs and more tadpoles hatch as the cycle continues. Trivia time! Did you know that the tadpole uses the nutrients stored in its tail as food? So until its tail is completely gone, it doesn't need anything else to eat in its journey of becoming a young frog. It's question time. So, friends, today. Uh, can any can anyone tell me of something that they learned during that video that they didn't know before? Um, that frogs eat their own shell. They eat their own tail. Did anybody else know that? <laughs> That's a fun fact to know that frogs can survive off just eating their own tails until they reach the level of a frog. Well, okay, we're gonna go to the book next. Can you guys get the uh, frog tadpole worksheet out? Yeah. The one with the four boxes. Yeah, look, this, this worksheet. Can everybody put their name on it? Can we look at this one? 